Hello everybody, this is Dr. Mark Giuperi at the Visage Clinic here in Toronto, Canada. I want to first uh, thank my patient for allowing us to film this procedure. Uh, we are doing today pectoral augmentation with my powerful pectoral almost 600 cc implant. Uh, we're doing abdominal etching, we've done already a large amount of liposuction and we're going to do fat grafting to his buttock. So uh, it's, a, it's a nice procedure that will be kind of life-changing for this young man. Uh, the augmentation has been done already on the left side. And I'm about to do the right side. The pectoral augmentation is done through an underarm incision, hidden. Same incision as we use sometimes in ladies. This is my powerful implant, uh, very soft silicone nice augmentation. This is meant to go on the right side. This is under the clavicle towards the shoulder, the free edge, and a nice square cleavage. Uh, if I have a shorter, shorter male, shorter chest, but broad, it can also be put this way on the left side, shoulder being here, clavicle, and cleavage. But my patient today is tall, has a tall chest, and I like this vertical augmentation this way. This will be put under his pectoral muscle and it's a beautiful augmentation and, and super soft and very, very uh, natural to touch. Uh, now we've done also liposuction. He was not obese, but he had enough fat to be used for what we call body banking or fat grafting. I've done liposuction on his outer lateral pectoral triangle. His entire flank, his love and all is gone. We've done on both sides. I did lipo on his abdomen. I've collected about 3.5 liters already of fat. I will also do his lower body, uh, lower back roll to delineate and shape up the buttock to give a definition between where the lower back ends and where the buttock starts. This fat will also be used for, I don't call it the Brazilian butt lift for guys per se, but fat grafting to the buttock. For males, we aim for a Latin bubble butt, as they call it. We leave the hip dip intact. We want that little hollow in a male to show that the male is athletic and that the male is muscular, having buttock fullness, so muscular buttock and large thighs. And we leave that little hollow intact, thin hollowed, so that the male looks healthy, athletic, and thin. Now we also are doing etching. This guy had s uh, three pairs and I've already done, it's hard to see because he's already swollen, but we've, we've done liposuction. It's important to do liposuction, otherwise it's too mushy. So it's a regular lipo and then we've completed etching by removing all the fat in those indentation area. You can see thin, thin, thin. And this is just out of interest. This is what we call the mermaid line. This is um, something that people like to see in males, but also in fit women. This is the line of the external oblique muscle that tends to be delineated in a very fit muscular body. Pectoral augmentation and etching is uh, a procedure I've done in Toronto for many, many years, probably for almost 20 years. Uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful procedure for patients. The fat that we collect in the liposuction is recycled into a buttock fat augmentation, something I also like to do. It is by far more common in women, but it is getting more and more popular with males as well. This is Dr. Mark Zuperi, plastic surgeon at the Visage Clinic here in Toronto, Canada. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.